Hey man, what's good YouTube? Y'all know what time it is. Favorite DJ back, back with another video. Like I actually had a conversation with like one of my friends, one of my homies. She told me like, bro, you ain't even got no intro. You just get straight to the video. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like my page, we don't need no intro. We get straight to it. You know what I'm saying? Straight to the business. Y'all don't need 20 seconds of a this and that and blah, blah, blah. Man, we get straight to it. So that's all, like, y'all really feel like I need an intro. I need y'all to let me know, you know what I'm saying? Just comment below, let me know if I should do an intro or not, you know what I'm saying? I had a little intro, like, the people who watch me from the beginning, I had, like, a little intro, look, you know what I'm saying? But I got rid of it, I ain't like it like that, you know what I'm saying? I probably did it for, like, a couple of videos or so. I ain't really like it, so I got rid of it, and I went back to just getting straight to the video, because what's the purpose of an intro, you know what I'm saying? If y'all clicked on the video, y'all want to watch it. That's all I look at, it. you ain't going to keep... Watching the videos based off the intro, you're going to actually go through the video and all that other stuff. But yet and still, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know the vibes what we coming with today, you know what I'm saying? Today is day one, you know what I'm saying? Day one, six days in a row, you know what I'm saying? The DJ. So today's just day one. Um, What's today is? Today is uh, Wednesday, I believe. Uh, yeah, Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, so today, day one, Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday was off. Ain't do nothing. I really just sat in the house all day yesterday. And then I didn't even know what to do with myself because when you used to working so much and then you finally get a day off, it feel like you're supposed to be doing something. But you ain't got nothing to do. So it'd be like you lost type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So now I understand why like how people, you know what I'm saying, be working until they die pretty much. Cause if they stop working before then, they'll probably die earlier. You know what I'm saying? They need work to keep them moving, keep them going, doing all that type of stuff. But yeah, man, but we at the club, like I say. Um Probably finna run to the mall, buy me another hat, because I need a hat. I really don't need a hat, I just want another hat, you know what I'm saying? Trying to build up the hat collection, have multiple varieties of hats. Because I just got really back into wearing, you know what I'm saying, hats like that. I don't know why, but I just got back into wearing hats, so I'm finna start buying a hat, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be the main, this the crown jewel right here, you know what I'm saying? If y'all know where I'm from, yeah. That, and I got to get a Cubs hat, but I probably won't get a Cubs hat today. I might, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking L.A., you know what I'm saying? That's the type of hat I'll probably get today. L.A. or... Some weird type of color, like uh, the Oakland A's and something like that, bro. I don't know yet, but, you know what I'm saying? We'll see when we get there. Also, shit, it's almost that time. I probably got, what, a little less than a week? A week, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna do these six days, and after these six days, man, we finna head to Chicago. We finna go to the rack, have fun, see what's going on up there. You know what I'm saying? I really want to just go up there and then shoot back down here, to be honest with you. I really don't even want to stay there that long, because I'll probably go back again. Probably about the end of August, maybe September. I'll probably go back up there again anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, my cutoff time for Chicago is October. You know what I'm saying? So, after October, I'm not coming back to Chicago probably until about May, June type stuff. So, yeah, I'm not doing winter up there. Like, I can't handle winter no more up there. You know, I grew up up there. Pretty much spent my whole life up there. Like, once you move to Atlanta, get adapted to this weather, I can't even do Chicago weather no more. Like, no. Especially not in the wintertime. Summertime, cool. You know what I'm saying? Everybody out, fun out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said before, I prefer summer in, the Chicago, in Chicago than Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Because Chicago in the summer is just a whole vibe compared to down here. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Each and all, I might do that one summer. Just spend at least a month back in Chicago and do, a, yeah, about a month of the summer in Chicago and then come back to Atlanta or whatever and get, you know what I'm saying, back to the ground. Back to the ground, back to the ground, back to the ground. It's weird. Like, I go home to have fun. And then, like, it's the everyday grind in Atlanta. I don't know. It's kind of weird like that now. It's still weird to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never imagined. Like, cause I started off DJing in Chicago. So, I ain't moved down here and picked up DJing. Now, I was DJing in Chicago. It was weird. It's like, I'm making a living down here DJing in Atlanta, not Chicago. So, you know what I'm saying? Take a chance on yourself. Believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you dream, it can happen. I don't even dream. Like, it's, it's still like a dream to me DJing in Atlanta. Like, it's just, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? To have a vision and to see it come to truth. I mean, come into it. Ah, I'm saying it all wrong, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. Oh, man. But as of now, I'm probably finna, uh, ain't no problem. I am finna get in the shower, get dressed, get ready. So, you know what I'm saying? We can pop out, do what we got to do type thing. So, we finna have some fun with it today, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Also, too, I got to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? My camera person, y'all seen my past, what, probably like two videos or whatever. The light-skinned girl. That's my cameraman, you know what I'm saying? I, that's my temporary cameraman so I actually find somebody to actually record what's going on in the club. Because sometimes when she records, she don't be camp, bro. It'd be like, 
you know what I'm saying? Coochie all in the camera, titties, it'd be some other thing. So I got to like edit a lot of the stuff out anyway. So it'd be left me with a few seconds of video. Any, like it's weird. So I got to tell her how to record a little better and to actually get somebody that's going, you know what I'm saying? Help me do this, you know what I'm saying? So we can get y'all some more, like I say, better views, better angles, better, you know what I'm saying? See more things that's going on in the club. And what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Also, too, I know what I'm saying? I appreciate it because she also do the hookahs, too. So, it's like she got to do the hookahs. She trying, you know what I'm saying? When she get a chance, she try to get video for me. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing right now. But we're going we gonna to get better with it. You know what I'm saying? It's a start. I got to teach her how to hold hold it up so it could be a straight. You know what I'm saying? She always looking at the flow. So, the camera always doing that. You know what I'm saying? Looking at the flow. Looking at the flow. So, yeah. So, yeah. Once I teach her that, she'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I still get the better views, better angles, all that type of stuff. So I really ain't too much tripping. But I'm finna go on ahead and get ready so we start our day. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna end our day right. Later that day. <laughs> trying to be in my video. Hey, you got magic, you What's up, y'all? Yeah. The fuck? Stop fucking with you, it was for a reason. Yeah, I don't even see her neck up. Y'all can't see that waist down right now. Hold up. I can't show you. What's going on YouTube? Well, I guess they can see it. They see the whole ensemble. No, they can't see the, the cheeks. Why? That's for you? I guess that was for me. <laughs> Thank you. Early when it just got here in the locker room, I ain't doing nothing. Probably get copyrighted because there's music in the background or whatever. So it's probably going to be pretty much B roll again. So yeah, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. But we at the club, ain't nothing going on. I'm going to show you all that in a minute. Hollywood right now, but you know what I'm saying next day vibes with it. Really, uh, just pulled in Target, finna go to Target, buy me a pack of, you uh, know what I'm saying, t-shirts or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying, like, I don't know, I've been buying a lot of t-shirts lately. You know what I'm saying, black tees, white tees. You know what I'm saying, you can never have enough black and white tees. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, like I didn't found better. And crazy part is, I found better t-shirts at Target than a polo white tees. You know what I'm saying, like I had tons of polo white tees. I still got tons of polo white tees. I think I'm pretty sure about done with them now. I'll probably get rid of them, do all the other stuff. So it's Target tees, you know what I'm saying? It's like, Target got a couple of brands. I ain't gonna tell y'all my secret, not yet, because, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, if I tell y'all, then all the stores gonna be empty and all that other stuff. But I ain't big enough for that no way, so, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get to that point, though. But, yeah. If I go to Target, get some t-shirts or whatever. Oh, damn. And after that, you know what I'm saying? We finna go get some food, go get some food, go to the club. I'm fine, you know what I'm saying? Another day. You know what I'm saying another dollar, you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm vlogging my life and pretty much it's like it's like how everybody else life be. You know what I'm saying? You get you get into a routine and this, that, and the other, but you know what I'm saying? My job is exciting, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like no regular like if I worked at, you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I work in an office, if I worked at Walmart, if I work here, I work that, you know what I'm saying? It's like you know what I'm saying. No, I used to work at Walmart, but you know what I'm saying? It was interesting. But they ain't gonna allow you had cameras in that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I could record a lot of interest stuff. Interest, interesting stuff. I'm getting tongue tied. Interesting stuff at Walmart. All types of crazy stuff happening. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? Especially you work at like one of them hood Walmarts, which I did, you know what I'm saying? 
Hood Walmart's the best. I don't care what nobody say. Hood restaurants too. Like Popeyes, comment below and let me know. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't know where y'all live at. Nothing like that. The Popeyes in the hood are always better. You go better than the ones like in the suburbs, the nice areas or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, Popeyes in the trench is the best one. A lot of these food, when it comes like fried chicken, I don't even eat KFC. But I guarantee you, KFC tastes better in the trenches than it do anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? In the city. You know what I'm saying? If it's in a nicer part, this, that, or other. You know what I'm saying? The trenches. The trenches always taste better when it comes to food. Man. I don't even know why. Like. Even when people be excited about going to these expensive, fancy restaurants, I guarantee you the best food they have in their life came from out the hood. You know what I'm saying? So comment. I want y'all to really comment below and let me know what y'all feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Do you really get the best food out the trenches? You know what I'm saying? Hands down. Even compared to like high-end, fancy restaurants like a Nobu or something like that. Hell, you can go Roof Chris or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like the trenches. You know what I'm saying? The trenches had access to, which they still do. You know what I'm saying? To like to recreate some of these menus from these high end restaurants and recreate it the trenches way. Which one do you think be better? The trenches, uh, you know what I'm saying? The high end restaurant where you finna be paying, you know what I'm saying, a hundred a plate, you know what I'm saying? Your bill gonna be 400 by the end of the night type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or you go to the trenches and spend 40, 60 dollars and you're gonna be full, you know what I'm saying? And have leftover for the next day type stuff. So, yeah, to me personally, the food in the trenches is way better. Man, God, man. My hands been ashy lately, you know what I'm saying? I gotta find a battle moisturizer. Well, I know what it is, though, because I be washing my hands too much. But yeah, I'm finna hop out this car, go on ahead, go to Target so I can leave Target, and then we can go get something to eat, all that other stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Man, y'all know how to bath, though. Hey, surprisingly, Target had the shirts in stock, I didn't even know. But now, I need to really be getting up out of here, but I'm actually looking at the PlayStation. Still the band if I should get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox. I don't know yet. I'm getting one this year. By the end of the year, I'm gonna have either one of them or both of them. How much a PS5 is though? PS5 is what about five six hundred? And the Xbox same thing. I really want the Xbox more. But my son played, but he a PlayStation kid. So I might get him a PlayStation. And then worry about me. Yeah, I'm gonna be paying about six hundred, six fifty. Yeah, I want the Xbox. The Xbox me hot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one I figure out, but I'll figure it out eventually. But you know, I'm gonna have either both or one of them by the end of the year. But you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and pay for these T-shirts. So I can get up out of here. All right, guys, working at one club, I'm late as hell. Dark outside, as you can see. Look like it's gonna pour down rain, I ain't for sure. I need to get my hoodie out the car. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it's gonna pour down rain. I'm finna head to the next club. My bad. I wasn't really talking because I was doing shit. But we're gonna head to the next club and start this rainy ass night. favorite DJ is back, you know what I'm saying, I'm back, heck no, nah, we already know what time it is, um, man, 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 let me explain to y'all about last night, right, so, I don't know, it was like one of them weird nights type things, like, when I was DJing, like, I could not catch a vibe worth nothing, then if I really look in the crowd, wasn't nobody in there, you know what I'm saying, like, I really wasn't saying nothing on the mic, none of that type stuff, you know what I'm saying, it was a club full of dancers, basically, you know what I'm saying, it was probably like three, four customers and up, five customers. It wasn't that many come. It was less than 10, put it like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm over exaggerating. I said it was like three customers, but it was like under 10 for the most part. But it was like 10 or less customers in there, bro. So it was like real dry. Then, like around 12 o'clock, 
I'm talking about so many, it was like 30 people came in the club, right? So 30 people came in the club, cool. But all 30 people was in one section. So the club looked at crazy, like crazy as hell. Like you got a bunch of females sitting in the club, dancers or whatever, they just sitting around because really ain't no customers in the club. And then you see one big section just full of people in a, so it was like you DJing for a section, pretty much. Cause them the only people that was really in the club. So that's what you was DJing for. I don't know, last night was weird, but it slowly picked up throughout the night or whatever. It got a little better and all that other stuff, but you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I don't know, it was just a weird night to me. Like, I don't know, like, the vibe was all I felt. I don't know, like, as a DJ, sometimes you're going to get that. Like, I don't know why, but it'd be like, sometimes, like, stuff be just feel off to you. Like, the music, like, I don't know if y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Like, just as far as, like, people go to the club and stuff like that. Most of the music you listen to in the club be pretty much sped up, you know what I'm saying? So it don't be the typical speed. So that being said, it's like sometimes, like, since we normally speed up music all the time, like, it's weird because some days it feel like everything just slow. Like, slow, 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 slow. Even though it's sped up, it just feels slow. So... I got these people looking at me and I was looking weird or whatever. But you know what I'm saying sometimes I just feel like that. But anyway, I don't know. It, it just you get like weird feelings as a DJ. Like the music seems slow to you, like the music don't seem loud, not hidden or whatever like that. Like all types of stuff. Like I don't know. It's like your ears be thrown off sometimes, it throw your whole vibe off and you get kinda like frustrated as a DJ. Like just based off the sound, cause you can't hear right. Cause like DJs, the most important thing DJs need is they ear. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, you got to hear the music, what you playing and all this other stuff. Like little, like little stuff. I can't really explain it. Like if you a DJ, you know, like to me, explain it to the average individual who don't DJ. Like, I don't know. It's like weird. It's like as you DJ and the more you DJ and the more you DJ, you develop, you're going to develop an ear. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to know what stuff sound like, not need to know sound. Like you're going to develop an ear for DJing type stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like hard to explain this unless you had an ear. Same thing with if you produce music or rap or anything like that, you develop an ear. So you hit certain things that the average individual wouldn't hear. Or, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't catch on that quick. Like you have to really tell them about that. But yeah, man, I was going through one of them experiences last night. But yeah, all in all, we got through it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I don't even feel like moving. Bro. I'm so tired still. I go back in the house, go back, lay down. I have to run to the store. I'm actually at the store right now. So, see? Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't even know why, what, what states public really be at. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard of it until I moved to. Uh, down here in Atlanta. So I know Georgia got it. I think Florida got it. I don't know who else really got public. Who knows? Oh, uh, man. I don't know. South Carolina, North Carolina. I should take a trip, too. But, yeah. But last night, I mean, so far, overall, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say about last night. You know what I'm saying? It was okay. Wasn't nothing really spectacular really happening. Now. It was kind of boring, kind of dry. Oh, uh, man. But let me go ahead and get out this car so I can go on ahead go on this store and I can leave up out this though. Bang, 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 man. I'm back in the house, back in the house, man. Like, uh, man, let me get my energy right. I should do that too, man. I should just start off on a good health run, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to DJ and stuff burn you out, especially do as much as I do. You know what I'm saying? I'll literally be DJing six days a week, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should probably already know that already. If you don't, now y'all know. But, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You gotta grind, 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 grind. You know what I'm saying? So for all y'all out there, man, do me a favor and just work. You don't go through your ups and downs, but keep your mind focused on your on your goal. You know what I'm saying? Some of these ups and downs that you really think about. Like, the average problems people have and stuff in life, it really ain't that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? A lot of arguments and all this other stuff that you be having with different people and all that other stuff. It really ain't that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? Focus on what you need to focus on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Success is going to come that way. So, yeah, man. Stop stop worrying about all the extra stuff that don't even matter. All the he say, she say, or somebody 
You know what I'm saying? Talking about you. Oh, that shit really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It only matter if you make it matter. You know what I'm saying? And if you make it matter, you're making yourself stressed. You're making yourself depressed. All that stuff, man. So just cut all the noise out and focus on what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go ups and downs in the, in the road. Or the road to get to wherever you're trying to go to. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because that's where you're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? Like they always say, it don't matter how you get there as long as you get there. You know what I'm saying? Then when you get there, take full advantage of that opportunity and try to keep it there and expand from that type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all we got to do as people, man. I wish we had more. I wish a lot of us do that more than focus on all this BS and stuff that's going on, especially nowadays. Like, people, the whole lives be on Instagram and YouTube. Like, that's all they dedicate themselves to. When I say that, I'm just talking about just looking at it type stuff. You know what I'm saying? We waste so many hours on Instagram and YouTube just watching it. It ain't doing nothing. We could have got bad at something. You know what I'm saying? Could have made some money, anything. But, oh, uh, man. I'm going to go ahead in this video. Ending this video. So, I really hope y'all enjoy watching it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, on all videos, man. Whoever watched me, man, I love all y'all, man. Appreciate all y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just keep going, keep going, staying consistent, staying consistent. But I don't even really care about the numbers or whatever. I mean, eventually... That's going to change. That's going to grow. All that. So, I ain't worried about it. I ain't be tripping about that type of stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Your favorite DJ. I'm going to check out. Until next time. I'll see y'all guys later. I already got the fingers up, man. Y'all already know. I'm out.